Hi, I'm Mr. Horn. On coastal BC, a lot of people are wondering how cable ferries will work. Well, the way to make a cable ferry work in coastal BC is you set up a quasi-private ferry company, demand that it find small amounts of savings. In the BC interior, cable ferries have been working another way. They just work because they're practical and the sensible solution. This is Adams Lake, north of Chase, and they have a cable ferry that crosses. Why? Well, because there's some people that live on the other side, and it's probably too expensive or impossible to build a road around. So, they have a cable ferry. They have nice signs telling you to wait, proceed, turn on your headlights. Really similar to a white spot drive-in. You see a couple concrete blocks on this side, and these anchor two of the cables and the other anchor is on the left side. Now, the two outside cables are guide cables. And the middle cable is the drive cable, which gets pulled through the ferry by the engine on the ferry. And you can see that they're on a nice pulley. They're anchored. And even on a freshwater lake like this, cable replacement and the average life of a cable is an issue. So who operates this ferry? Waterbridge Ferries. They do all the operations of ferries in the uh, Shushwap and Arrow Lakes area. They even build ferries. So here's the ramp. You know it's just much like any other boat ramp that's out there. Except it's got a cable on one side anchored to a block of concrete. And on the other side, it's got two cables, again, each anchored to a block of concrete. And these cables go to the water. Now the interesting thing is as the ferry moves across, the cable has enough slack that it basically stays near the bottom of the lake. And then as the ferry sort of pulls the cable, the cable is sort of pulled up right by where the ferry is, but there's enough slack that it's not, you know, at the, at the surface level the entire way. And as the ferry moves, you can actually see movement in this cable as the ferry comes closer. But it's not coming closer right now, so it's not moving. And that is how they do cable ferries in the Shushwap Arrow Lakes region. And there is the ship. And in case you're wondering, there's the sawmill on Adams Lake. And if you want to take the road to connect with Barrier on Highway uh, 5, north of Kamloops, it goes that way, the Agate Bay Road, which eventually connects and will get you into the North Thompson Valley. Cheerio! This is Mr. Horn reporting for West Coast Ferry Forums, Adams Lake, BC. One addendum to my news report, this drive cable doesn't actually get, doesn't actually move, doesn't pull along and get pulled through the ferry, rather the ferry sort of gets pulled along the cable. So the cable really stays stationary, it only sort of drifts up to the surface and down to the bottom of the lake, and it's the ferry that sort of pulls itself along the cable. You know, just in case you were wondering. And now to see this reporter. Hi, this is Mr. Horn on the shores of Lower Arrow Lake, um, east side, looking at the MV Needles. Well, maybe it's not a motor vessel. I guess we could call her the Cable Ferry, the CF Needles. Now, this is a typical cable ferry. Well, they're all typical in that they have cables and they have a guide cable on either side and a drive cable in the middle. 
Now the drive cable stays stationary. The cable itself does not move, but the ship pulls itself along the cable. And they do that basically by, I guess on the inside of the ship, there is a motor on the ship that pulls the ship along the cable and lets the cable pass through the ship. Okay, interesting concept, it works. Um, this ferry is a little bit different from the other cable ferries that we've seen at Adams Lake and at Arrow Park because this is more of a traditional modern um, barge style ferry, ferry similar to maybe what we'd see on the coast and if you took the cables away and um, changed the ramps a bit you might have BC Ferries Klitsa or Kaloki. Um, really similar to that the, um, the deck layout is incredibly simple. Um, this is probably the, um, the concept prototype of what might happen at Denman Island.